May 2000 and heartbreak for Chester City as they find themselves relegated to the conference on the last day of the season. Four years later and under the leadership of manager Mark Wright, the club find themselves sitting proudly at the top of the conference and look poised to return to the Football League. We want to win the title or, or get up through the playoffs. That, is their, that was their, what I was brought here to do and that's our dream. This league is very, very difficult to get out of and it proved it last season. At this moment in time we're five points clear with a game in hand and uh, with only nine left. One of the reasons for the club's success this season is the formidable partnership of strikers Daryl Clare and Darren Stamp, who've scored 40 goals between them. We're working well together and uh, he's doing a lot of the dirty stuff in the air and he's, he's, you know, he's chipping in with his goals as well. And you know, we're also making chances for each other, so working well. After five straight wins, Chester were confident of extending their lead against Northwest rivals Morecambe, who themselves harbour playoff ambitions. The match gave the Chester manager a chance to renew hostilities in what has become something of a grudge fixture. On the field, there's always been full. They've always been full-blooded affairs. I don't think there's any love lost between between their manager and myself. If I'm being totally honest. Three and a half thousand people turned up at the Diva to see Mark Wright rewarded for his managerial endeavours, and for once the curse of the award didn't strike. After a goalless first half, it was Chester who took the lead immediately after the restart. Alex Smith settling the home fans' nerves when he fired past Ian Dunbavin after Daryl Clare and Darren Stamp had created confusion in the box. City wrapped up the three points ten minutes from time. Smith, this time the provider, Clare the executioner-in-chief. That the striker's 23rd goal of a prolific campaign. Stuart Drummond's late goal for Jimmy Harvey's side proved nothing more than a consolation as Chester edged three points closer to the third division. We are a confident side, we respect everybody, but when you get across the, you know, over the white line, you've got to go and get amongst them. The first half, we, we set off them and gave them a little bit too much respect and, and, and let them play. second half, we went about them and we stepped on and we played up in there. They made mistakes and, and we, and we capitalised on it. And like I said, we went on to win the game and, and should have won it more comfortable, really.